Hi guys, welcome back to an episode of DB Car Itself and in today's episode, I'll be reviewing Sherrod Mercedes C180 so let's dive straight to this video right now Alright then, so yeah uh, let me just show you guys the damages for this car right here so overall damage why there isn't any obvious one other than some curve wrapping right here curve damage right at the corner bumper right there and there's some curve rings right up here itself but in that uh, car wise condition let to look not that bad i think i would say so yeah so basically if you guys saw my last video or my video that i reviewed on get go mercedes c180 itself uh basically that is the face lifted version this right here looking at is the non face lifted version itself so basically the only difference between that i mean that car and this car itself, itself is basically the front bumper the front bumper have been revised for the, the face lifted one so hence you got a newer front bumper itself as well as the headlights other than that there isn't any obvious changes to the rear itself other than the front which i mentioned earlier on to you guys itself so i won't be going too in depth about the trunk space and also the rear space for this car itself if you want to know more about it you can watch that video which i'll link it at the end of this video itself but let me just dash it to the front driver cockpit itself which is the main difference for this mercedes c180 right here itself so stepping right into the mercedes itself the difference is as you guys can see right here is mainly the screen right here itself which is different from the face lifter one and also the driver zone right here looking at so uh basically for the face lifter one you got a bigger screen itself as well as the instrument gauges right here has been changed to the digital gauge compared to the analog gauge right here itself and that's probably it for the dashboard uh the next part which is different is basically you, you don't have the seat controls on the the door, door itself it's basically on the side Right here, is the can see you can adjust the seating through here, and this is your lumbar support. And to adjust the seat itself, is basically this through this handle right here. If I can find it, this handle right here itself. So yeah, other than that, that is basically that's the difference between this face lifter one, sorry, that face lift, the get go one, and the Chevrolet one, which I'm wearing right now itself. Uh, storage wise is still the same, which I mentioned to you guys already. So yeah, and also one thing I noticed, this doesn't go that down i don't think the face lifter one wrote that down but overall it's still not a big storage space for the mercy itself but you got some cup holders right here you can put your stuff right here as well as here as well which is a very very nice touch itself but on that that's basically that's the difference between this the non face lift and face lifter one so yeah basically as you guys can see everything is the same as the face lift and non face lift so yeah i won't be going too in-depth about it so uh like what i mentioned at the start if you want to see the full in-depth video about it you can check out my get go video itself so basically that that kind of the face lift down which has some of the but the new feature that i think there were some new features that were implemented i'm not too sure but if you guys want to check it out you can definitely check it out but i'll be showing you guys the this screen right here they don't uh once i turn on the car itself so to turn on the mercedes itself very simple just want to break and just look at the start stop button right here and the car will just start right up so as you guys can see so basically you got your uh what's that you got a speedo right here itself which can be adjusted using uh wait, hold on top. give me a moment so yeah basically you can adjust all the feature if i can remember where it is you adjust through this button oh yeah basically this button right here you can see all your information radio or the necessary bit that you want to know about it and to adjust the sports mode you can just press this thing but this button right here and it'll just go through all the individual setting for this car itself so yeah all right then uh let me just show you guys a few more one or two more features that is different from the facelift and non-facelifted version itself the difference between the non-facelift and the facelift version this the non facelift version you're looking at is the steering wheel itself so basically the steering wheel for the facelifted one i think they changed to a different type of steering wheel so that's one that's another thing that i have to take note for that another thing that uh changed for the facelifted version would be that start stop button right over there itself so basically if you guys didn't know this is the this is your normal stop stop uh button itself but if you were to remove this cover right here if you guys can see technically if let's say the start stop initial button is not working you could actually technically remove this and insert key in to manually start it if not uh you can just press the turn on for the face lifted one they change it completely so it's different itself so yeah that's another thing i, I want to pinpoint before i end of this video itself so yeah other than that that is all for this video itself i do apologize it's a bit if the date the clip is different from the previous clip that i saw because 
I uh I know I I realized I forgot sharing the the, steering, the difference between this and the start stop button earlier on when I refer to my notes itself. But other than that, uh, that's what I say for this video.